Hello, beautiful and sexy people. Today we have another decoupage video. This is one of my shelves that I've had for a long time. The first step you want to do is you want to sand it all down, make sure that there's an even surface all the way around and a little bit of uh, grit for the paint to stick to. And then before you go straight into painting it, you'll want to clean off any of the dust and debris um, that you've created from sanding it down. Then you want to paint it. When you paint it, you want to do small, light, very kind of dusted strokes. I messed up pretty big and got a very, very drippy spot right there and that's not going to go away unless you sand it down and start all over, but I didn't want to do that. You'll want to make sure that it's completely dry and you don't want to sand the area that you're going to be doing your decoupaging on. Um, you'll want to find some images. I got mine from the bookstore. I found this human anatomy book that's really cool. Um, it has some pretty interesting um, images in it. I wanted to do some skulls and so I thought might as well do anatomy while I'm at it. You'll want to cut out each and every single image. Just do a rough cutout. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to get it out of the book. If you have images that are already out of a book, then you can just skip this step. definitely want to get one for this project because it is a lifesaver. Um, clean straight edges on a project like this, especially with it being so big, is really important because it helps with the end result. The cleaner and crisper your lines are with each individual image, the better your uh, product will look at the end. And then you're going to want to place them. It doesn't really matter how you place them. I kind of like to have um, every single piece of it covered on the surface that I want covered. And then I'll lay the smaller images kind of mismatched all over the top. I'm using a polycrylic um, to glue down my images. It's a lot like the Mod Podge that's kind of popular all over YouTube. It's just cheaper I think you get more in the container and um, I personally like it I like the consistency I like the reliability of it um, and then I didn't include in this how I did my top coats but there's polycrylic that is three times the thickness um, and I used that one to go on top I had made a video for this one previously and if you want a more in-depth uh, tutorial on how to decoupage um, more specifically, go ahead and click on the link right here. Um, it'll tell you everything you need to know. So here I'm just kind of showing you like the other pieces of furniture that I have in my house and what they look like. I've got this one here, this is our coffee table pretty cool and then I have our dining table and now our little um, our hookah station slash game board station we keep our like guess who and Jenga and puzzle games and whatnot but I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial um, and again if you guys would like a more in-depth definition or how to DIY go ahead and click on the link um, for the table